We all love reverse cells. I think they are the holy grail when it comes to hacking. You run that cell code, it doesn't matter where the target is, if it's in the next room or if it's in another continent, in outer space, I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is also, if it's a printer, laptop, uh, a router. If you have found an execution point and you run the correct code, then you get control of that system. That's what today's video is about. There are many sources uh, nowadays that you can get the code that you need to execute on the system in order to get a reverse cell. There is uh, revcells.com, there's a payload of the things, there's MSF Venom that you can generate code in many forms and for many different system types. And uh, today I would like to present a project I have found on GitHub and I think it's really, really interesting. It's called ConPTY Cell. And what's special about it is that it can give you a fully interactive reverse cell for Windows systems. And let's read a little bit about this project. Uh, the introduction of pseudo console in Windows has improved so much the way Windows handles terminals. Computer Y cell uses this feature to literally transform your bus in a remote power cell, and this is really freaking cool. And here we can read briefly how uh, Computer Y cell works. It creates a pseudo console and attaches two pipes. Then it creates the cell process, starts two threads for input and output, one thread for reading from the socket, uh, socket and writing to pseudo console input pipe. The second thread for reading from the pseudo console output pipe and writing to the socket, okay. ConPTY cell uses the function create pseudo console. This function is available since Windows 10 or Windows Server 2019. Uh, so I guess that's when this uh, function was introduced in the Windows 32 API. If the ConPTY is not available on the target system, you will get a normal Netcat-like interactive cell. Okay, so I guess we can get a fully functional PTY only when we run the script on Windows 10 or Windows Server 2019 and above operating systems. So let's run this cell and see the magic happen. Usage method one. In this method, the terminal size is set without you pass the rows and calls parameters. Okay, server side. We need to use STTY to disable processing in our terminal and echo also. Let's set the listener. We'll use this VM here to, to set the listener and client side. Okay, it's using uh, invoke expression to execute from a web re request to this repository, right? Yes, uh, from the raw version, let's say the script and invoke on PTY cell and uh, you should give it like check it out before you run it as everything you find uh, on the internet here's the raw script I did check it out actually earlier and I'm going to copy this command and give it a try I'm going to open PowerShell paste this in here I'll just fix this because my IP, the IP of this VM is not that. It is this one. Let's grab it, return to the listener and run it. Doesn't want to run, doesn't matter because I remember what it is. So let's give it a try. Script contained malicious content. Okay, it's kind of flagged. It's not that, that much of a problem. We can definitely work around this. Um, I'm just going to disable it for a moment. We'll see, just to see it working. And then we can, we can definitely try to uh, go around Defender. So let's run it one more time. Create pseudo console function found, spawning a full interactive cell. Look how elegant it is. And if we go here, we have received our cell. Let's see, okay, we can execute commands, okay, that's cool. Look, now we also have a tab autocomplete, for example. And uh, what is also, I think, the coolest part is that it's, this is a full interactive uh, PTY, so we can just execute, for example, the command line and exit back to our PowerShell. And this is really amazing for just a script just a powershell script that, that is doing this i think it's really cool so let's run it one more time this time we're gonna try to bypass defender i have turned everything on and i believe i am up to date security intelligence is up to date as of today last update and i'm going to i'm gonna need to copy the script have it locally open i don't know genie 
paste this in here and I'm gonna save it. I have this folder that has an exception to not be scanned by Defender, just to try a few things. I'm gonna name it as con ptycell.ps1. Let's save that there and let's see what's happening, what we have. I'm gonna delete all these comments, we don't really need it here. Okay, we have a function to invoke the cell and we have this source which is C sharp code. Let's see uh, a good way is to start splitting up things. For example, I'm gonna try and split this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this like that. Let's keep the first part here. I don't believe it has anything else. It finishes with this definition here, the script. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna navigate to this directory. It's in desktop payload. I'm going to run um, on ptycell, which right now has only this definition here. If I run it, script contains malicious content. So this part is definitely uh, flagged, but this one, maybe it's not. Let's name it con it, um, p cell con pty just to know what it is. We're gonna save it again in this directory. And this is not supposed to do something, but we can run it and see if uh, Defender has some signature that it recognizes in this. Let's do this. Okay, this was uh, included without any error, so. It's just this part that actually has some, probably some signatures have been generated for this. And there is something really char characteristic. We have the name of the script, conpty cell, and we know that AMC, for example, uh, it won't even allow you, for example, if I run this, it will say, hey, what are you doing, man? No, no way. I don't even have Mimikads on this system, but uh, just mentioning it, it's very characteristic and uh, I, I cannot do it. It will not allow me to do so. Maybe this is the case for this program as well. So let's just do a very small trick. I'm gonna copy this con pty, which is really characteristic about this project, and I'm gonna replace it with hot dog, okay, in document. So every mention of this is now a, just a hot dog. I'm gonna save and let's test if this stupid thing that I just did had any any meaning any impact i'm gonna run it again and this time it's not uh, it's not complaining <laughs> so let's bring back the first part but also here probably we have this also this mention copy to y let's make this also hot dog copy paste it here save and now i'm going to we also need to invoke the script let's just uh what was this line? It will invoke it, of course, for it to work. Um, let's go to the end. Just add this line with the correct IP. Okay. Defender is running. Let's see. Everything is on. Where is my listener? It's right here. I'm gonna set it. Um, let's grab it one more time because it's kind of special. Okay. Fingers crossed that this, I'm just going to dot source the script and it's gonna run this uh, invoke con pty cell line. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, it worked. There is some error. Does it work? Yes. It's working. Is it interactive also? Yep. It is. This project is, is really cool. I think this is uh, the script is a great candidate for uh, for getting a reverse cell that is fully interactive because I think we're all used with using Netcat listener based cells that are not fully interactive. And it's, of course, it's 1000% uh, more convenient to use uh, a cell like this.